Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 12th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your world update, looking at space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, as we've had quite a few plasma filaments creating spectacular visuals here by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide, I did post a little bit yesterday with the Dew soundtrack. Having a look at the last 48 hours, incoming big plasma filament there with a little show of Earth to scale. Lots of activity and sunspot groupings right now as we have a dozen sunspots that are visible. Looking the last 48 hours outgoing, pretty large plasma filament there as well. And we've had about four minor M-class solar flares the past two days on our sun. But still remaining very static and active. Another close look at incoming region. A lot of plasma associated here right along the equator. Kind of an umbrella effect there with an M-class solar flare. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the coronal holes and as well, all of the most active regions. No major coronal mass ejections. CME thwarted our way. Still glancing blows, but most of the filaments ripping away from the north and the south right now. And if green is your color, enjoy this. These are all just different spectrums to enjoy the visuals of our sun under different lights you can see different things and right now we're looking at a dozen sunspots on the earth facing disc 171 angstroms thank you everybody for watching today don't forget to smack that like button having a look at space weather conditions currently we are under r1 a minor radio blackout impacts expected and that is from the static c-class range solar flares that we've seen over the past four days Solar winds coming in right now at 454 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing here. Very busy, but minor M-class solar flares. About five of them actually in the last two days. Most of them have been C-range. Geomagnetic activity, not much to talk about. We haven't had any solar storms shot out at Earth the last few days. Having a look at current space weather conditions from NASA prediction spiral a little green circle is Earth looking at Iswa showing a couple days ago that was that double shot CME that took off plasma filaments ripping away from the northwest region of our sun and then just recently today here is the new CME from most likely M class one of the M-class solar flares from the cresting limb equatorial region where I showed that umbrella effect of plasma. And then looking at Lasco 3, showing the last 48 hours of events, as you can see, most of the cosmic energy taking off from the northern and southern hemisphere of our sun. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's been pretty busy. Um, not extremely busy, but we did see a pretty sizable 5.9 earthquake here. Alexandra, Alaska, north of the Juan de Fuca Plate. And this was an area that I've been warning all week. As well, notable activity across the North American Plate. 3.3 there, which looks like Yellowstone, but it's in Montana. Whitehall, Montana, 3.3. And as well, other most prominent earthquake, 3.0 there, California. USGS is only, is only reporting 183 earthquakes, 24-hour period. Pretty quiet right now. We should be up around the 200, 220 for average. Showing here minor activity west of Yellowstone and northwest of Yellowstone there with Whitehall, Montana, 3.3 magnitude earthquake. And not too much to talk about. No major swarms across California. Just regular activity. And then looking across Canada, 
Not much is reported with USGS, but here is Earthquakes Canada website showing quite a bit of activity, especially along the west coast of British Columbia and Alaska. They reported 5.5 today. It was a 5.9 magnitude earthquake. And as well, look at this earthquake in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Newfoundland. Marystown, Newfoundland reporting 4.4 earthquake. And as well, look at all this activity north of Ottawa. 3.0 magnitude there, but there's always lots of activity. Quebec into the St. Lawrence. And of course, through northern Alberta, southern BC, up into the Juan de Fuca Plate. Heads up, earthquake watch still in effect, especially after the deep earthquakes we've seen today. A couple earthquakes there in Guadalupe, Galapagos Islands, 4.3 earthquake here, Costa Rica, very quiet through the Dominican right now, Puerto Rico, a little too quiet, 5.3 earthquake reported there, Peru, 77 kilometer depth, 4.8 Scotia Plate, 5.0 magnitude here in South Mid-Atlantic Ridge, south of Ascension Island. And as well, a 5.0 magnitude earthquake there in Greece. And still lots of activity, activity Indian Plate from Myanmar northward up into Tajikistan. Across the Tibetan Plateau. I'm going to be posting out a video here pretty soon about the Tibetan Plateau. About my findings, I'm going to see if you agree with me. Notable activity there through Japan and as well still the Marianas Trench. And then we get to Fiji here, 614 kilometer depth earthquake, 4.5. And as well, another deep earthquake, 4.9, 503 kilometer depth. So two very deep earthquakes. Pacific Plate is on watch still, and especially now with these couple deep earthquakes. Eight times out of 10, larger shallower earthquake follows. Having a look here, the last seven days for shakers around the world doesn't seem to be too busy, but notable activity west coast of Canada and Alaska. Notable all of the elevated rings. Those are the depths of the earthquakes. Residual deep earthquakes, Indian Plate, up into Eurasia, Tibetan Plateau. Much love, everybody, and just have a plan. Be ready. Have a go bag ready with all of your essentials. That's what this is all about, staying aware and prepared, and much love. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and, as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got Senge in Ecuador, as well as Semeru in Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, And that's about it. Three or four volcanoes getting updated today. A lot of flood alerts right across north and south. Well, all across the African continent right now. Natural disasters unfolding around the world. It's now snowing here in Ontario and that's early. So most likely we're going to be seeing at least 15 to 20 centimeters from this storm. That's going to be ripping through with 50 to 70 kilometer wind gusts. Pointing out here, satellite imagery, all the lows affecting North America. And as well here, overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Lingering low across the Northern Territory. And as well, post-tropical storm. Cyclone heading towards New Zealand. And the Pacific Ocean is really roaring up now as the polar vortex is swinging around the planet. And about to change things drastically. Big lows here eventually going to make landfall through Europe. They've been they've had a nice high pressure ridge blockade for a bit. That is about to change. We also have one tropical cyclone there to talk about off the coast of Madagascar. Not a major threat to humanity. What is a threat to humanity is extreme cold temperatures. That's right, we've got minus. 35 being reported in Calgary without the wind chill, so 
minus 50 with the wind chill in some areas. And that's thanks to this very oblonged polar vortex. And it's split still. And it still looks like it's smiling at us going, ha what happened to your global warming? Um, well, right after 44 volcanoes were erupting around the world, look at this. Siberian polar air being funneled down, straight down to as far south as Mexico, the United States. Now I'd like to share this year versus, versus last year, but I want to show the rest of the world first. This is all upper level winds. Now noting here the trade winds along the equator, where that arrow is pointing, I'm not gonna move that arrow. We're going to go to this time last year. And then just notice the difference on the longitude plane that it is on. And which way the winds are blowing. This is this year, present, and last year. Same day. Present and last year. Big changes happening around the world, everybody. Much love and prayers for humanity. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please don't forget to give a big old thumbs up. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.